Hello, so this is day 34 now with our Pavlik harness. Um, there hasn't been too much going on the last few days really. We've just been waiting um, for Max's next scan, which is sort of happening tomorrow. Um, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't quite anxious about it. Um, it's like the first proper time we get to see what actual progress has been made, if any, um, and to get a better idea what the rest of um, our journey, Max's journey, is going to look like. Um, I know from when I went to the appointment previously, they said that his abductor, um, you know, numbers had, had improved from 45 degrees and now they were like at 70, 75 degrees. But I know that's completely different to the scan of the hips. Um, and really, we just need to see if there's been any movement in terms of um, the bone forming in the right position um, and holding that hip in place. So, um, yeah, feeling a little bit anxious. I just want to get it out of the way. It's not until quite late in the afternoon tomorrow. So I know I'm just going to be like pottering all morning, sort of thinking, you know, if if it's really good, we might be able to give him a bath and all that sort of stuff. But if it's bad, what that then means and what the next step of that journey is, you know, um, as I've said before on these videos, I'm speaking to a lot of people um, in similar situations now, some who have had really, really great um experiences in terms of things happening really quickly in the harness um and sort of being able to come out at like six seven eight weeks um, and others where you know they've gone to their first scan and they've decided that the harness actually isn't working for them and they need to think of something different um i'm not entirely sure what that something different actually looks like so um yeah we're just gonna sit and sit and wait um i am going to this appointment like prepared um i know what i'm looking for now i know what i'm asking for you know i want to know what those angles are saying i want to know what that um bone is being described as whether it's you know adequate sufficient um deficient good whatever you know i now know exactly um what we need to see um so yeah, that's that's sort of all we're really waiting for now. Um, we were due to get Freddie's x-ray results at that appointment also tomorrow, but the GP must have received a copy of the um, radiologist's report following the x-ray. So they actually texted me um, the other day and just said, um, from what they can see, Freddie is showing no signs of having DDH. So we need to refer back to the physio just to um, assess any other reasons why he might be presenting a little bit with the limp. Um, it m might likely just be related to his hypermobility and that's just um, something that we need to work with with him and he, he might possibly grow out of it. But as long as there's nothing like super serious in terms of, you know, hips being completely out of line or any dislocation or anything like that, then that's the main thing because it just means that he won't need, you know, some serious intervention. So that's really, really positive news. Um but we'll just get some more information on that once I speak to them tomorrow. Um, but yeah, aside from that, the only other thing really going on is I'm sort of starting to think about what we do sort of trying to move away from the sleepy head. Um, when Max first went in the harness five weeks ago, um, I adapted our sleepy head so he could still sleep in it because um, that's what he'd been used to and he had been a bit of a a tricky sleeper in his first few weeks um before the harness anyway so I didn't want to disrupt him too much so I ad adapted the sleepy head so he could still flip flop his legs out to the side but now he's starting to get a little bit too long for it and you know very soon I think he's going to flop off the end um so I want to sort of intervene before we get to that point um so I need to start trying to wean him off the sleepy head but I don't want to disrupt him too much and I also know that you know there is disruption to sleep once you come out of the harness generally as they're so used to being like tightly bundled that when they're sort of let loose um sort of they're not quite sure what to do with, with themselves so um need to start thinking about that I think I might just start with um naps not in the sleepy head while I'm sort of not desperate for sleep um and then just go from there. But if anyone's got any tips for transitioning out of a sleep pod, um, that would be great. And then we'll sort of go from there. Um, one thing I have recently bought, actually, which I think is really good, um, is obviously it's freezing in um, where we are now in the UK. 
um, and I haven't found up until now a sleep suit that would fit Max quite comfortably. They're all quite bulky and bulk isn't what you want in the harness. You need something quite um, loose and stretchy that sort of just slips over without sort of um, restraining the legs too much. So um, I came across a, um, a, a snowsuit which is essentially in the shape of a star and it's got no buttons, no poppers, nothing like that. And you just basically wrap it around them um, and then they sort of each point of the star, one's the head, one's the two arms, and one's the feet. Um, and it's more just like a blanket wrap, and it's from a brand called Tuppence and Crumble. So I'm just waiting for that to arrive. Um, so I'm really excited about that, because poor baby must be getting a bit chilly. I'm sort of trying to wrap him in blankets when I take him out, because um, I'm trying to use the carrier more, the Ergo Baby 360, um, rather than putting him in the um, bassinet, because I know he's a little bit big for the bassinet now in terms of being able to stretch his legs out to the side so i'm trying to keep him in you know optimum position as much as possible as i'm sort of always am and um, so yeah we're using the carrier a lot more which means he's exposed to the element so um really looking forward for when that arrives um aside from that not much else really going on just busy um you know, Max is a, a lot more active than he was now. Um, he's super happy and super content, um, but he's sort of demanding a little bit more of my attention. Freddie's demanding a lot of my attention. Um, so yeah, um, I will check back on tomorrow and just let you guys know what's happened with uh, Max's appointment. Like I said, it's not until a little bit later in the afternoon. So if I have to um, share a video a little bit later into the evening, I will do. Um, at this moment, I don't know how it's gonna go. Um, so I could be super, super happy, thrilled over the moon, or I could be uh, sitting here, you know, not feeling too great. So um, just watch this space and um, yeah, I'll let you know. But until then, I'll catch you later.